We're delighted to welcome our children, young people and staff back into our schools and nurseries. We're really looking forward to seeing you again. It is of course important given the announcement last week from the First Minister and indeed the new national guidance that says the return isn't a return to normality. We've been working very hard with our colleagues in housing and technical resources and community and enterprise to make sure our buildings are as safe as possible. That's the most important thing we need to do, making sure that all of our children, young people and staff feel safe and secure. I've been asked to provide a short update on what enhanced cleaning and catering arrangements have been implemented for the reopening of schools. Let's start with the extensive work we are doing in terms of cleanliness and hygiene. There are some physical changes you will notice and some that are not quite as visible. Firstly, the cleaning products and hand sanitizer we now use meet the British standard for enveloped viruses such as COVID-19. The cleaning equipment we use is recognised as being industry leading such as our electrostatic sprayers. South Lanarkshire Council introduced these to the UK over a year ago and they create a barrier on surfaces that protects against viruses such as COVID-19 and bacteria. Also, what are known as E-Zone sprayers have been supplied to ASN and early year settings that sanitise surfaces through a process of ionising. Facility staff have received updated training to deal with COVID during the summer break. Additional sanitising of high density touch points will take place three times a day, including door handles, push plates, handrails and toilet flushes. This is in addition to classroom tables being sanitised daily instead of twice per week. In primary schools there will be hand sanitizer dispensers at entrances and areas of high footfall such as the dining room and soap dispensers and paper towel dispensers will be available in all classrooms. In high schools there will be hand sanitizer dispensers at entrances, classrooms and areas of high footfall and in specialist classrooms there will be soap dispensers and paper towel dispensers. Turning to catering, we will endeavour to provide the full menu as advertised on the Council's website that meets the school food and drink nutritional standards. However, we will have to respond to particular circumstances. For example, if we are informed that a full catering team will have to self-isolate, we will revert to the more limited menu of the sort we deliver during adverse weather conditions. The facility officers and their assistants, along with the cook in charge, will work with each individual school to agree service delivery and we would expect schools to let parents and carers know their particular arrangements. Tasks carried out within schools by facility staff such as cleaners and caterers will not require a face covering but we will be supplying disposable aprons and gloves for all facility staff. I hope we can all work together to ensure a safe environment for the teaching and learning of the children and young people of South Lanarkshire. We have put a number of safety measures in place. For us, that includes looking at our risk assessments and our safe systems of work. It really is crucial that we try to ensure everybody's safety. For us, in that practical sense, that will mean looking at a one-way system within our school, managing our corridors, making sure that our children and young people use their hand sanitizers or wash their hands as they enter classroom environments, looking at the safety of our staff and physical distancing, it's important that our staff remain two metres where possible from each other and indeed from the children and young people. We do recognise that that can sometimes prove a challenge within a school environment and we're trying to look at a number of factors to help control that. It may be that the school day looks slightly differently. We might have a staggered start. There may be a staggered finish at the end of the school day as well. We're managing school lunches to try to ensure that our children and young people have as good an experience as possible but it's as safe as possible as well. Schools need to be places of welcoming and continue to be our, our places where young people learn. However, our young people should know that the routines that they have are routines that will go on not just for the next few weeks, but as long as we need to. Those routines will help keep us all safe. For our staff, what we hope is that we'll learn from you. We'll listen to what you have to say when you come back and what are the things that we can do just to make sure that all of the things we have in place work and all of the things that we have in place make a difference to feeling every, that everyone is safe. It might mean that we make some adjustments as we go and we try to learn from this process, but it is really important that we not only get our children and young people back, that learning in our buildings continue, 
but that all of us are comforted by the fact that we've spent a lot of time trying to get ready and trying to make sure that we're safe and that learning can continue. I hope this film has given you some general information and helped reassure you, but obviously you may have some more questions and we have a frequently asked questions section in our council website that will hopefully help answer some of the more detailed issues for you.